This is how you can easily get different looks in your footage. I'll show you where you can get free LUTs and how to install them for quick and easy access right inside Kden Live. It can get annoying having to look for your LUTs manually for each project. Luckily, there's an easy way to get them all in one place within Kden Live. We'll get into the different types of LUTs and how to use them in just a moment. Hi, and welcome to Nuxtox Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan, and now, Let's look at where we can get some free LUTs to get started. Links are in the description of this video. We'll be getting two types of LUTs, technical and creative. Starting with technical LUTs, head over to filmic.com and look for their free D-Log LUT pack. Next we have creative LUTs, which you can find on premium beats. If you scroll near the bottom of the page, there is a link to 35 additional free LUTs. We also have freshluts.com. There, you'll find many LUTs, all free and broken down into different categories. Finally, we have LUTify.me. You do have to register with them. Now that we have our LUTs, let's learn how to get them all in one place for quick access inside Kden Live. I like to keep my files organized, and so I have a LUT folder that I keep inside a library folder. I'll place the LUTs there and extract them. Now, let's add our LUTs to Kden Live. I'll add the paths for Linux, Flatpak, and Windows in the description of this video. If I find the path for OS X, I'll add it to the description as well. So follow the path until you get inside of Kden Live's Assets folder, and simply create a folder and name it LUTs. Lower caps for me, similar to the other folders. We could also download custom LUTs right inside Kden Live, which would prompt Kden Live to create the LUT folder for us. For that, let's go in Kden Live, create a color clip, and add the Apply LUT effect to the color clip. Now, we'll download a custom LUT using the Apply LUT effect in the Effect and Composition stack. Click on the down pointing arrow inside the Apply LUT effect, and we can install the first option, Instagram Lo-Fi Filter Style LUT by Diego Duarte. Like I said, this will prompt Kden Live to create the LUT folder for us. Now, we could copy our LUTs over to the Kden Live LUT folder, but then we'd be duplicating them. Instead, what I like to do is create links or symbolic links of the LUTs that I then move to the Kden Live dedicated folder. On Windows, you should be able to right click on your LUTs and choose copy as path. Then you can paste the links where you want. Over on Linux, depending on your distribution, you can either right click and choose make link or go to the file manager menu bar and edit and see if the option is there. If not, simply look it up online. In the case of Linux Mint, I can select all my LUTs and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus M, which will create links to everything I had selected. Then I'll move the links to the dedicated LUT folder and done. I personally prefer to remove the word link to, and I do so by batch renaming the links. Now just restart Kden Live by closing and opening it again, and your LUTs should be in the apply LUT effect dropdown. With that out of the way, let's quickly look at the difference between technical and creative LUTs, which are the most common types. Technical LUTs help us go from one color space to another, like going from log or slog to rec709 or rec709 to p3, etc. They're about accuracy, not aesthetics. Creative LUTs on the other hand are about style and feel. You would use them to add a specific look or mood to your already color corrected footage although some creative LUTs are designed to be used with log footage. Okay then, we have our LUTs and we know a little bit about the different types of LUTs. Let's look at some use case scenarios. Jumping into Kden Live, I already have my footage imported and placed onto the timeline. I downloaded these non-graded clips on pixels from Emad Clicks, link in the description. These are Sony S-Log from a Sony A7S 3 We'll start with the technical LUTs which we downloaded from Filmic Pro. I'll be using the custom effects tags I've created for Kden Live. You can download them for free right inside Kden Live simply by going to the effects tab, click on the down pointing arrow. You can search for LM or Nuxtux. For now, they're at the start of the list. Go ahead and install the LM Basic LUT and LM Creative LUT. This will save us some time. With the clip selected, I'll add the LM Basic LUT to it. I'll collapse everything and disable the keyframes. Now in the effects composition stack, at the top we have apply LUT. Click on the drop down and we should have all of our LUTs there. If not, you can scroll at the bottom, click on custom and navigate to your LUTs. I'll select the filmic D-Log LUT that we downloaded. 
This would delog or deflatten our footage. Although it would be best to use LUTs made specifically for Sony S-Log footage. Now we can do some white balance if needed by adjusting the temperature and tint. Next, we can adjust contrast, brightness, gamma, or saturation using video equalizer. The goal here is to color correct our footage if needed. Once we're done, we can go back to our effects and add the LM Creative LUT. For this one, I've set the LUT to be disabled by default. So once you're ready, you can simply enable it with the eye icon. If you're wondering why we have mask apply, secondary color selection, or even curves, well, these are there in case we want to decrease the intensity of our LUT. The secondary color selection is set to add, so it grabs everything. The curves is set to alpha, and by dragging down the upper right handle, we can decrease the intensity of the LUT. And finally, the mask apply closes the stack. After that, we have lift gamma gain, sharp and unsharp, and noise generator for further adjustments. Feel free to add a denoiser before the sharp and unsharp if your footage needs it. I didn't want to overdo it with this custom effect stack. Let me know in the comments if you think the denoiser should be included in the stack by default. I update these custom effect stacks every now and then, so make sure to check back in the Kden Live custom effects to get the latest updates. For the creative LUT, I'll be using cinematic, which comes included in Kden Live by default. I'll adjust the values of our footage with lift gamma gain. Then I'll add a little bit of sharpening. And finally, I'll introduce some noise to the footage. Now, of course, there's more to color grading, but this should be enough to get you started. Here are some examples of other clips that I've worked on using the same method. And here is an example of Rec. 709 footage I worked on with the same method, minus the initial color corrections. If you're a professional colorist, I'd love to get some input on how to improve these stacks. Kdenlive has many other effects for color correction. I haven't included them because of a few caveats that I'm still working out with the Kdenlive community. Alright, that's it for this video. If you liked it or learned anything new, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there is a thumbs down option, but who clicks on that? Seriously though, if you have any questions, doubts, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. This is Nuxtux Creative Studio, my name is Jonathan, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and there are probably some other videos on the screen right now. Go ahead and click on one of them. See what you can learn.